What's up, Sean Fagan here again from MuayThaiGuy.com, and we're doing the third round of my breakdown versus Pechpa Mai. And for you, those of you who don't know, rounds one and two don't really count for much. So rounds three, four, and five is where the pace really picks up, and that's where the pace picks up in this fight as well. So still going from southpaw, still trying to figure out where I can find openings. I'm switching from orthodox to southpaw. I'm just trying to get a good idea of what I can do against him because my punches were working uh, relatively well, but his right kick was also working really well when I was southpaw too. So there, land a nice little combination. He clinches up though. We exchange some in the clinch, throwing some knees. I'm trying to stay busy in the clinch and make sure I'm scoring, make sure he knows that I'm not scared to be there. That being said, the clinch is very tiring, um, but I was trying to conserve my energy in there as well. There he goes with the teep again as I try to come in and throw a combination. I switch to southpaw right away. He throws that right roundhouse because that's where the opening is, and I'm not doing a good job at defending it. It's also circling to his left, which isn't to my power, actually, my right-hand power, but that's typically what you want to do against a southpaw. There's another great teep, so I go in to throw that hand combination, and he essentially just jabs me with his teep right down the middle and uh, throws me off balance. And like I said, that adds up the more and more he does it. I give him some props because it was starting to piss me off. So you notice we're battling for position a little bit. He's circling to his left. I'm trying to stay on my right, so this way I can land the right. He throws a nice little body kick there. I counter with a, a right hook. There's another good teep as I go in to throw. So once I'm about to throw some type of combination, he just is able to teep me both with his lead and his rear foot. And that just makes me hesitate that much more. And even if it doesn't hurt, which it, it does, it just makes me think a little bit more. And that little bit of hesitation uh, really makes a, a big difference in the context of a fight. And there's a nice little combination exchange and he was ready to go after that. He follows up with a right roundhouse to the body. I try to counter it, and things are starting to pick up now. I try to throw this right hook. He does a great job using the long guard and the teep to, again, stop me in my forward momentum, which was extremely frustrating because, like I said, it just made me hesitate. You can tell at this point I'm breathing with my mouth open a little bit, so I'm getting a little bit more tired. I try to catch and sweep him right there and land some punches, but he was able to evade and circle away from the corner. He had really good uh, ring awareness of where he was, and he was never really up against the ropes, which is usually where I'm able to land most of my punches. So I really put myself out there and put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so if you could do me a solid and just like and subscribe, i greatly appreciate it. Just let me know what you think of these videos in the comments below as well. Much love. Here lands a nice right body kick. And as I come to counter, he uses a really good knee guard. So he brings his leg up and just kind of pushes me back, which stops my forward momentum yet again. Here he tries to land an elbow. Fortunately, I miss it. But shortly after that, he lands his cross, which comes like out of nowhere. I didn't see it coming. Definitely wobbled me a little bit. And then he was able to throw some good combinations in the corner before I was able to circle out. As much as I don't want to, let's reverse it back and watch it again. So watch how quickly he throws his cross. There's almost no extra movement and straight down the middle. He noticed that, I snapped my head back, and then all of his other punches are coming down the middle. And then he also changes the angle with these uppercuts. And so this left uppercut landed pretty good. He doubles up on it. And then I noticed myself in the corner. So instincts kicked in and I try to circle out, which I was able to do. And I was definitely down and I knew I was down after this third round. Here he lands another nice combination Really straight punches, like right over the top. Watch this. Uh, like props to him, because he's able to just throw that left cross right over top, land. I knew I was down going into the fourth round, so I tried to pick it up. We finished the round with some good exchanges. And hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.